Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel as we are recording uh, week 23 of WWE 2K24 My GM Season 2. Uh, we've been having a little bit of a rough patch uh, the last couple weeks here. Been losing a little bit of fans due to a power card I used, but we're getting a hell of a lot of money, which the money is allowing us to get some power cards. We're going to be able to you know, take out some of our neighbors. Uh, some of the feuds that I've been trying to build haven't exactly flourished quite yet. We're three weeks out from Mania. That's going to be recorded next Saturday after Grand Slam Collision. But we're also... Uh, we also have to get through this week and then we have to do next week as well uh which will be coming up after grand slam dynamite on wednesday so make sure you pop it into our our twitch channel twitch.tv slash mike the ref and you can help book this card as well so but as much as i enjoy talking about how i'm screwing up on this booking i'll let you guys see it for yourself right now so let's get to it here All right, so he wants one held the cell match for a, a contract negotiation, which, with all due respect, these GM goals, these commissioner goals, that don't matter because we lose everything after the second season. So in other words, we lose everything in three weeks, so they really don't matter. Let's see what else we got here. Good three and Ilya working great as a team. Pretty Ruthless and Trixie Gabbett work well as a team. And everything else is just bit. Promises are all kept. Notes. We got rid of Argus. We brought him back again. <laughs> all right, let's let's see what we can book here. Main event. Let's first of all let's take a look at our stamina here. I think what I'm going to do right now, because I want to get this in here, we're going to do Blair and Scarlet. This is the feud I want to create. We're going to do a submission match. You know what? Let's do a regular one-on-one -on -one match. Right yeah, let's... You know what? It's both their favorites. Let's put the tile of the line already. I want this feud to grow, so we're going to force feed it down their throats. Last week, I turned Scarlet face because I want Scarlet to take on Blair because I think that would be a fun matchup. All right. Uh, Stamina-wise, Cora's got a lot. Ruthless has a lot. Screw it. Let's get these two back in here. We do need to get a title match in here, baby. Let's see what... Else. Ah, there we go. I, I know what we're going to do. I don't want to do that. Do you see that stamina? Sort of, uh, yeah, no, mm, uh, no. I want to do this. Rollins calling out Dragonoff. That's what we're going to do here. Because I want to get that few growing, but I don't want to waste the stamina on those guys. But yeah, I do have to be careful on some of this. We'll put you two in here. We are going to set up a triple threat for that for the title. 
Or do we do that right now? Stax earned this, so yeah, let's... Let's get the champ in there. Can we put a stupid... Why not? That's where all the craziness comes in. So what we'll probably do is that. Because, yeah, we got a giant. We got a cruiser. We got two cruisers and a giant. What else do we have left here? Oh, you're recording to collision? I'll be honest, collision tonight, I would have to say would be... Collision, the wrestling was decent. Like, the wrestling always is decent. But, unfortunately, I don't think... I, I personally don't feel that we got... Um... Let's get the champs back in action here a little bit. I want to get that. I want to get that feud to level four. Sorry. Uh, the conglomeration took out the print. Uh, Coggle O'Reilly, Briscoe, and Hologram took out uh, took out the premier athletes. Mariah May beat L Lady Frost. I want to get Becky involved here, so. I think that might actually help a little bit. Sorry, I just saw the promo and I had to... Uh, the main event was a 10-man tag that really put Roosh over... The Outrunners look like they were going absolutely insane. I use Clint for a charity promo. He's still a level five. Who do I need to put themselves over a little bit more here? Why not? Uh, Queen Amanada, Serena Deeb was a decent matchup with uh, with Deeb getting the victory. Now she's calling out Britt Baker for Wednesday or for the anniversary show in uh, in Philadelphia. Or Pittsburgh, sorry, not not Philadelphia, sorry. Um, so we can't use this in the last two weeks, which means the only week we could use it is here. I feel pity for you. Oh, sorry, I feel pity for Bischoff because his record's absolutely horrible. I think I might give that to Habit. Like I said, we can't keep them with us, so we might as well use them, right? I'm just going to unload. Why not? 
Because he's going to double unload at me at Mania. I know it. I think we're good everywhere else. We don't have any spa cards. We don't have anybody injured. No rival brands have contracts that can be reduced. All right. I should give some to uh, Bischoff just because he... I don't want him to feel bad. Can only use one a week, damn it. All right, that's all I can use. Oh, this is going to be fun to check these scores after this. That's how we catch up. Let's see who's on the talent scout list. Broderick, Pritchett. Yeah, no, nobody I'm really looking for. We could go get somebody bigger if we want, but... Is there any cards I can use on anybody to increase stuff? Nope. Only a pre-match physio one, so... I think we got this. So... Do I want to do... Do I want to do this for the title right off the bat? That's the thing. Because I'm thinking this might actually be our match for Mania. No, I think what we're going to do is we're going to redo the match from last week. We'll put Shaw in there instead. And we will have interference from Stax. What do you think, Zodiac? Should we go this way or should we go the triple threat? right away here my goal eventually I want to do is the uh, triple threat for mania I do want to get this view going so if I put it in a title match how much you want to push stacks I think I really want to get him you know what maybe we just do the one on one with stacks And, and we can either do a tables or an Iron Man match. Stamina costs very high, though. 49 and 43, we're still not bad. I think maybe we do the Iron Man match here. What's the downside of the triple threat? That's actually a good point here. One thing I will do though, I won't... Well, if I put the title on the line, I think it's pretty much gonna be, we're gonna have, we're gonna run this back anyway, so. So yeah, that's a good point. Let's just, I keep overthinking stuff. You know, that's my biggest problem, I overthink stuff. All right, I think we got this. I don't want to give... Uh, I want to give Dragonov and Rollins the night off as much as they can because... That way they can uh, heal up a little bit because the stamina is at somewhat close to injury range here. So I think this is going to be our card here for tonight. It's not going to get... He's not going to give me a card I could actually use in the next few weeks. So... I think we're good. All right, all the world hates a coward, I think. And we're going to do this run-in so that... Hopefully, we can get Billy and JC up to a level four. 
Oh wait, I forgot the most important part. Make that title match. So we're actually gonna have a jam-packed week 23. Week 24 might be a little bit more conservative. I think we got this. All right, all the world hates a coward. Let's go. So we have to check out ECW first here tonight because we do snake order. This is week 23, we're going the back way. You can take that whatever way you want to. Well, let's get to this card here. Liv Morgan taking on Ronda Rousey in an opening match. Rousey wins, of course. Two-star match, but gets the rivalry out of it. All right. Hockey Talk Man gets himself over a little bit. Okay. Sensational Sherry and Vicky McLeod. The only way that uh, ECW can get a title of the show, Sherry Martell. This is rough. It's almost as if Heyman gave up. Garza and Paul, no rivalry yet, but backstage brawl. One, two, ring the bell. Whoa, whoa. Logan's out of WrestleMania. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he's laughing. He's having a good time. Good for you. Yeah, laugh it up. Enjoy your night. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're not supposed to laugh at people's injuries, but Logan Paul can go eat it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jake. Plus three, which we sort of expect from him. Our main event, Josh Briggs, Damian Priest, tables match, non-title. It's not real, it's fine. Okay, fine. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. So they got a rivalry going. So ECW's trying to get some rivalries going, but just can't. WCW, what do they got to start? The champ champ, Drew McIntyre, take it on Paragon J. Pierce. The champ champ wins in a three and a half star match. Tiff Tiff does nothing for herself. Tim Bird, Randy Orton, that would be, yeah. Orton wins. Rivalry grew in a horrible match. Grog and Pierce, they're already to level four, so that don't matter. Balor, Big E in a regular match. One, two, ring that bell. Balor in a two and a half, okay. Eddie Guerrero, bringing in some decent fans. And our main event here for a tornado tag. Bukati and Adrian Buck taking on Karrion Cross and Omos. The championships were vacated, so the title's okay. He must have released some talent. Booker C and Adrian Bucker now. Whoa, whoa. Almost out of WrestleMania. Oh, you gotta hate it. You gotta hate it. Kerry Cross finally found the tag partner and they just bit to it. All right. Let's go see what Ra did. Opening contest Robert Rude, Broad Breaker, the tag champs. Taking on our truth and Tommaso Ciampa. Our truth and Ciampa win in a four star match. Another okay promo. Bailey and Sammy Vortex, which is a hell of a team there. Take it on Lita and China. Oh, they flipped Bailey heel here. They had her face for the first part of this. So two and a half, okay. 
good to see Danielle Wallace getting one point on her promos. Ugh. We used to have her, by the way, if you guys aren't familiar. So, Molly Holly versus Meechin for the women's title. Regular match. Molly Holly wins. Three star match. All right, cool. And that was for the vacated women's title because China had to get. Or no, China was in the China's in the tag there. They probably released somebody to get the tag title, get the title open. That's the only way that you get titles free is if you release people. So, Kit Wilson, six thousand fans. That's a hell of a charity promo. Now your main event: Otis versus Stardust. Otis with the big time. Four and a half stars. Gotta love it. All right, let's go. Smackdown. All right, our opening contest. We're putting the title on the line right away here. Argus the Great taking on Stax Lorenzo, who's been our MVP. Taking on Trent Shaw. It's a triple threat match. It's a table match. Let's go take a look. I'd love to see Stax get the title here and be able to defend it at Mania. We're at Rally North Kakalaki here. The following contest is a triple threat tables match. Men is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger from another time, weighing in at 267 pounds, Argus the Great! So Argus, in his first night back, ended up winning the Intercontinental Championship, which is now in the hands of Seth freaking Rollins. Stax has pretty much been our MVP. He is looking tonight to be one of the guys that is completing the complete triple triple crown here. He's won the tag title. He's won the uh, he won the uh, singles. Uh, oh, sorry, the Intercontinental title. And now, if he wins the WWE title tonight, he's won all three titles in our promotion. On the old SmackDown. Introducing the champion from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 219 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Trent Shaw. So if you aren't familiar with Trent Shaw, he, uh, he ended up, uh, Stacking them titles, you might say. Uh, Trent Shaw came in as a free, basically a free player here. Uh, Trent uh, looked to come in and get a chance with us. And he said he'd work for free, so why not? We put him in a match with Gunter. He won. We put him in a match with Gunter for the title. He won. We put him in a cage bag with Gunter. He won. And now we're just trying to find somebody to get in here to take on the title here. So almost in a way, I would love to have the Shaw stop, huh? uh, win the title or keep the title and go all the way to media and redo this match. Even if we have to add another guy to it.
But also in another way, I wouldn't mind Stax and Argus getting it so then they get to have that main event spot, right? Because I'm almost at the point of if tonight, if we don't get. If Blair and Scarlet don't get to be a feud, I almost have to consider releasing Scarlet. Or sorry, releasing Blair. Just because one of those other feuds would be better served with the title. Like right now, I don't know if we're, what we're going to do with Baron Corbin because. We got criminal versus cop we got to deal with here. Oh, and once we get to Mania next Saturday, we are doing all sorts of matches. Stats having the main event spot in Mania would be a great wrestling story. Social media influencers showing up, chasing the dream, wrestling for free. Started jobbing the champ to the champ at Emmy at Mania. What a story, yeah. Oh, Shaw, you mean, yeah. But the thing is, I'd have to put these two in with him. Because there's no feud for Shaw right now. That's my biggest problem right now. Shaw has no feud. Well, Argus, you really showed off that you didn't want Shaw to have that table. Going off the ropes. Knee to the chest. Shaw, you better get in there. Oh, nice tear. Oh, God, please. Oh, I, wouldn't that be cool if that would have, uh, if that would have put him in the, put him in the table? But yeah, next, I, I think we're going to have an ambulance match. We're going to have a backstage brawl. We'll probably end up having a cage match as well. A last man standing match because I have a power card for that. And the other reason why I'm glad I booked that tag, that women's tag title match tonight. If I end up with Trixie and, uh, and, oh God. Oh my God. Argus the Great wins the title. Argus the Great wins the title. We're booking the rematch at Mania. The champ of ages has risen. Four star match, let's go. And the rivalry grows here. Argus has made it to the stage of history. Shout out to anybody who gets that reference here in the chat. Oh, so we got a new champ. Trent's going to get the next title shot. We're going to run this match back at Mania, guaranteed. That rivalry's grown. This can only get better. So let's, let's see what this charity promo does. 
Clip McDougal, 4,500. Okay. All right. I literally just want to get Becky some matches. That's why she's in here. It's an extreme rules match between Cora Jade and Ivy Nile, which are the... They do have a level three rivalry going right now. I want that to get to a level four just so we have it set up for Mania. And Becky literally... If I could get Ruthless and... Uh, uh, Gambit to win the titles tonight, the tag titles. I'll put Becky in a title match at Mania for the women's tag titles. I That's an easy peasy lemon squeezy fix there. So let's get into this here. I'm literally just trying to get Becky something, like Lily anything. It sucks that I got to do that, but... Because I'm thinking if I have way too many feuds that have grown to a level four that I can't fit them all at Mania, I might try to use a steel cage match next week just to get rid of one of them so that I, I don't waste one, essentially. But yeah, I'm literally looking at all my... Ro my roster's going to be injured all heck as we uh, go along here, so... Which, once I get to redraft, I'm not going to care about that. So we are only going to be able to check out uh, three of the four matches tonight. Unfortunately, the women's tag that we're doing next, because I have the run in from JC Jade on uh, Billy Slugger, we don't get to watch that. That's why I put it next, because usually the CPU matches have a tendency to have a little lower score compared to the rest of them. I'm a little worried about that ending, but I think the fact that we have a submission match might actually help there. Because that's the preference for both wrestlers. So if it's a double, uh, double favorite for both wrestlers, I, I think we should be okay. So originally my game plan, like if, if you haven't been here before, my game plan was always to put uh, Becky and JC Jade as our main event for the women's title. When Blair won the title, it basically threw everything up for a loop. Same thing happened in season one when EO Sky won the title right before, uh, right before we got to, uh, well, we got to our last PLE before Mania. So I basically had to do the scramble booking again. So this is a triple threat extreme rules, so I'm basically wasting money because it could be extreme rules regardless. But I'm pretty sure that favors uh, Cora Jade. So it's not the worst thing in the world to do. Nice side rush leg sweep here. Once again, everybody, thank you for checking things out. 
But yeah, watch it. Oh god. Thought we might have a three count already. I'd have to say collision tonight was probably one of the most disappointing ones I've seen in a while. Like when everybody talks about TK booking on the fly, this might be the clearest example of it tonight. Once again, the wrestling wasn't bad. It just didn't make a lot of sense on a lot of the stuff they were doing, right? And it almost feels like it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, there goes your shoulder. Thought that cravat was going to be enough. Fisherman soup. Oh, come on, ref. That's a pin. They felt a bit lost in terms of direction outside of a few stories. They're getting into 2019 WWE territory. If they're absolutely. The thing is, Dynamite hasn't felt like that. But Collision, it just feels like it's. It's almost like they're trying. They're. I made the analogy during the sidecast. Dynamite feels like they're warming up to get ready to go to New York. Tonight felt like they were just trying to start the car and get the hell out of the building to get to New York. But they did also set up uh, a lumberjack strap match between Jeff Jarrett and uh, Hangman Page. Basically the old school one where everybody outside the ring has leather straps. So they're actually inviting every single person that is pissed Hangman off to be the Lumberjacks. Or that Hangman's pissed off, sorry. Like you're gonna get the Bag Bag Gang, you're gonna get the uh, Dark Order. I do have to say, Eva Ludo had one of the better matches I've seen him have in a while. As he was taking on uh, Darby Allen. Let's a plunder in the ring. Let's go. Oh, God. And Becky's sitting here like, what did I do to sign up for this? Like, honestly, if my bookie doesn't work on this future feud, we might end up having to do, like, Ivy... N Ivy, Cora, Becky, and Blair for the title at Mania. I just want to get a big feud in there for, for us to match up. Nice blockbuster. DDT on the table. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, Korg has snapped off the move first. Oh, God. Snap suplex. How much she makes you wonder? Oh, God. Resiliency card played. Uh-oh, no, Ivy's fired up.
Nice kick. Oh, there you go. Pit Becky. Pin Becky, you're by yourself. What are you doing? You're all isolated. Ugh. There's the manhandle slab cover. And Becky wins it. Chorus too busy playing with a ladder outside. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch! Now, if that feud at the end doesn't work out, this is how I could justify setting up a four-way. And Scarlet, I can put for the tag titles. Hey, Showstopper, how you doing? Beautiful. Three and a half star. We're, we're getting a good card here. Uh, three and a half stars. Feud is at uh, level four. This is good. How you doing tonight, Showstopper? Hope you're. Uh, hope everything's going well for you. All right, let's see if this worked. Good. We got that rivalry growing too. So. The IC title, I want to do a backstage brawl with these two. Because I want to see how crazy that could get. Our next match, which we're not going to be able to watch once again because there is a run-in. Uh, we got Trixie Gambit and Pretty Ruthless taking on Fallon Henley and Billy Slugger. Fallon's been pissing me off lately, so I don't care if she loses the title. But JC Jane's running in on Billy Slugger tonight because they have a rivalry going. Ruthless and Gambit win the titles. Rivalry goes to level four. Let's just say, I know the match was only two stars, but I don't care. Oh, am I just having everything line up perfectly here? The show stop a loss though. Sorry, show stop a TV. The Shaw stop, -a, yes. The meme here cannot continue. You know what? We can still... Work on it. Oh no, keep the mean coming. Because you know what the most important part about losing the title is? The redemption story of getting it back. Shaw's gonna get another chance at WrestleMania to get that title. He's gonna get back in there. I know you're a Shaw fan, Zodiac. We're only gonna get him for one more shot here. So we better make it count because free, free agents disappear at the end of uh, free agents disappear at the end of the season. So let's see if we can do this right to finish it off. Post Malone puts himself over. Good. I like that. All right. I am trying to get this match down the throats of these two. We need to get Blair an opponent for WrestleMania. I turned Scarlet face after her great performance last, what was it, two weeks ago? I tried to do a call-up promo with Blair calling out Scarlet for, you know, always kissing up to the fans now. Unfortunately, it did create a rivalry. Both ladies here have a specialty of the submission match. So let's see both of them in their specialty match for the title, let's get a rivalry going. The following contest is a submission match and is for the WWE Women's Championship. And once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, these are available every Wednesday, or sorry, every Tuesday and Friday on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, there is a playlist available if you want for our entire season. Uh, as well, uh, you can check out uh, the live recording of these after every AEW Dynamite and every AEW Collision on uh, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref, my personal channel, so. I 
really do wish I, I do wish that they would have they change the crowd voices when they go to when I flip them from face to heel it's one of the most frustrating things about this game here meaty yeah there's some meat on this I'll just throw that there just to be safe here. So yeah, they're not doing any intros because they're going to do the formal intros in the ring here, so. And I'm sorry, due to uh, YouTube's copyright rules, I can't put the music in. I really wish I could, but... But yeah, we uh, we were working hard trying to get this feud going here. And now, actually with the fact that Trixie and uh, Ruthless won the titles, it gives me a little bit of flexibility about what I can do in terms of Blair's challenger here. If this becomes a rivalry, great. If this doesn't become a rivalry, I stick Becky and I stick Blair in that feud with Cora and Ivy and here you go. If we're going to have two fatal four ways for the title at Mania, so be it. WWE thinks they could do four ways for the tag titles at Mania. I could do it for the singles titles. Because, yeah, I definitely want to do a... I want to do an ambulance match. I even might do a coffin match. If I can... I think I have the coffin match available. If we got that, I might do that with Dom and McDougal. And now Blair Davenport won this at the last PLE, defeating Becky Lynch here at Survivor Series. How did she have her robot unzip, take it off, and the belt stayed right where it was and didn't move? Did she have like a second title underneath? I ain't worried. I ain't checking that much. All right, Alicia, let's see what you got. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, Scarlett. And her opponent from Wellington, New Zealand, the WWE Women's Champion, Blair. Nobody in that building wants to see Blair win. Could you imagine Scarlett winning this title tonight? Be fun to watch. Normally you don't see the champ lose it on his first... On her first uh, title defense, right? But this is a submission match, so it could go either way. I like this. No fooling around. Let's work on body parts. Because there's not much for, you know, Greco Roma knuckle locks and oh, double stomp. Finn Balor, eat your heart out. Now Blair working over the hand. Blair just taking it to Scarlet here.
Dragon Sleeper. Oh. And now you're going to have rope breaks. I think W. I think the game all they did was instead of actually having it as a submission match, they just turned pitfalls off. Which might be a little much for them to fix up, right? But don't these ladies do it some work? Oh, that's an interesting move. Zodiac, uh, you into that move? I don't know. Hey, showstopper. I love the CD emotes, by the way. Uh oh, rigs of Saturn. This could be it. I ah, didn't have it on tight enough. Once again, everybody, this is our main event here tonight for the WWE Women's Championship. Blair Davenport, the champion, taking on Scarlett as a uh, in a submission match. Oh God! The crowd is loving it. The stink face. I guess that is more of a face thing to do now. Gotta get her up. You can't pin her. There you go. Little leg lock. That might do it. Nah, champ's got too much metal for that. Right across the throat there. She go for another stink face. I'd like to see what the reversal is on that. Like, you'd have to get the timing absolutely perfect on it. Well, the ref ain't counting, so... I spoke too soon. Yeah, literally all they did was turn pinfalls off. They're gonna, she's gonna win by count out, isn't she? What the hell is that? Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion. Blair yeah, that's what I'm wondering. That is horrible. That is a horseshit finish. 
That's not, that's beyond horse shit finishes. Just get over two, just get over two stars. I don't care after that. Please get the rivalry if we can. If not, we'll work it out. Um, is this where the Ikea commercial comes in? You know, like, start the car, start the car. No rivalry, though. That's the only bad thing about this. No rivalry, though. So, yeah, we'll have to, uh, I think we're going to have to sink them into that four-way. All right, let's check out the report cards. Good booking. Okay, I got a level two there. I got a level three there. I got a level four there. I got a level four there. And nothing. Man. Amazing booking. Level four there. Level three there. Level four there. So they got three feuds going, ready to go. Good booking for WCW. Grog and Pierce are uh, for, for level four. Orton and Burr are level two, so that's okay. And this is a level two. and almost, But almost is out after Mania, so that don't matter. And now Briggs and Priest just got to do what started. They're at a level one, but Paul's out to after Mania, so that's dumb. Uh, okay, we got that. Level two there. Level one there. All right, time to check out the final results. Actually, I want to go back here. Pretty much everything. Stax is a little bit injured, but we could redo that after. Yeah, everything pretty much lined up perfectly there. We just have to increase the match type to get a better score. In the match specialty, we only got two stores there. Match type, two and a half stars. And this one here. If we would have gave it a match type. It probably would have been a lot higher, but that's fine. And three and a half match type got one and a half that's weird to me it's especially for both of them all right either way let's check out our final results ecw got a 101 35,000 fans and 348,000 of the bank so all right 111 score 41,000 fans 264,000 in the bank. Raw did a 123, 54,000 fans, and 280,000. That number of fans is going to severely decrease next week. We did a 116. We got four. We got our Hall of Fame trophy. And we got over half a million dollars. We have over half a million dollars to play with here. Alrighty, let's. Badoom. Reach 4 million fans. So we've officially reclaimed our role in first place, even though we are 90,000 fans behind. Uh, if you are familiar, the Hall of Fame trophies take precedence over everything else. Then it goes by fans. Then it goes by dollars. So technically, we are at first. We are, well, hell, we're 50,000 clear of uh, ECW. And we are, yeah, we're almost 100,000 clear of, uh, of WCW, which is not surprising because they still don't have a women's champion. But I digress. But... With that being said, let's go see what some pissed off GMs are going to say because once again, as per tradition and the fact that WWE 2K24 doesn't uh, 
allow you to save at this point. You have to advance the next week. Let's see what we're going to be getting into when we start booking the show coming up on uh, Wednesday. Let's take a look. Reno, Nevada. Ilya. Okay, so I'm clearly the best superstar in SmackDown. I imagine the crowd will be getting bored of seeing me win so easily every week. I need a bigger test, one that suits my superior skills. I want to go up against both Post and Hayes next week. Either a triple threat or a fatal four-way? Meh. Sure, why not? We could do that. And Cora, what do you want? Wipe that smug smile off Becky's face after that loss. I want to fight her again within the next two weeks. I believe we said something about uh, our title match coming up. So yeah, basically, Mania is somewhat set at this point. Do not put Seth in a match this week. <laughs> check, check check <laughs> that does not i'm gonna see what what's the goal that we get out of it that could be useful so what i wanted to do this week if, if we're let me just let me just bring it back to a chat screen because i'm gonna i'm gonna break this down real quick and then we're gonna wrap this video up today so what we're probably going to end up doing next week is we'll do the triple threat match that Ilya asked for. But we'll do a run-in on Rollins on uh, Dragunov to get that feud up even higher. If that allows me to get that card, we are definitely going to do that. We're going to set up for the, uh, for the big match at Mania coming up. And I'll put it one of my middle matches. I'll give it the, just a regular match. I don't care if it's crap. I want that feud going up. If we set up that triple threat, and then the Cora Becky thing. Well, I think that pretty much sums up the fact that we're going to be doing the uh, four way for the women's title between uh, Blair Davenport, Becky Lynch, uh, Ivy Nile, and Cora Jade. Just that feud's in there. Let's we might as well use it. And yeah, so looks like Mania is setting up pretty well. We're just going to have to check, like, we'll have to check which matches we could use with Fatal 4-Ways. And Dragunov and Rollins, I want to finish in a backstage brawl, so this just tells a perfect story. Uh, Trent Shaw and uh, Stax Lorenzo, that, uh, that feud, I want to get it as high as I can. I could still stick Shaw in there, and uh, we will uh, make that a triple threat. We'll redo it to uh, see if we can... Uh, Get Shaw's title back and sort of redemption in a redemption arc. We're gonna have to look as we go through and see maybe uh we have a lot of level four feuds. I want to make sure that we don't overbear ourselves so we don't I want to make sure that every match that we can do is ranked as high as possible as we get into this. So if that's the case, then yeah, we should be okay, but for those on Twitch, stick around here. We're going to do a raid out here in just a moment. Uh, for those on YouTube, just want to say thank you for hanging out. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you uh, liked what you saw here. And comment what you like. which match would you like to see as we go forward. And make sure you stop by on next Saturday night over on Twitch.tv slash MikeTheRef as we go through WrestleMania. Because after that, we're going to be immediately drafting our third season of rosters so we only get to keep maybe two maybe three depending on how many hall of fame trophies we get here or sorry three maybe four wrestlers so everybody else is going to be redrafting so we could get a completely different roster we could get all the same people a lot of different people we could have a whole bunch of craziness going on here so 
But as always, folks, thank you for stopping by here. And always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.